Y'all ready for the show, man? You wouldn't even believe, fam. We are going to experiment with the Essentia, right? Would you believe that I went in and erased today's show already? And since I time traveled backwards to let y'all know. Well, I don't know if it's backwards or forward. To let y'all know I erased the show. But we got it. I got it back. So make sure you time traveling show. is confusing. Peace. We went back. We went back. Thank everybody for joining us. Of course, today's toast is brought by that ambrosia. But fam, look what we got here. So, um, I'm fighting one of my habits. So I stop at the store. I said, "Well, hell, instead of picking up, I ain't gonna say what the habit is. Instead of picking that up, let me pick up some water, right? So I find this water, and it's called Essentia." Y'all see that? It says Essentia with a plus. I've been hearing people talk about it. It says Hydration Perfected. We're going to see, right? So we did we, we, we did the Fiji yesterday, right? We're going to look at Hydration Perfected, right? Now, remember, I told y'all, it's not necessarily what's in the bottle. It's not even necessarily what the bottle looked like. But what's the story? All right, let's well, let's do let's do libations. Then we'll come back and we'll look at the story of this water. All right, all right. Well, might need a degree to open up the, the damn thing. Okay, good. Right, good grief. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Let's go and see. I don't want to waste it because this is some expensive water. Remember, we start off our libations with water, family. I hope you drink it with me. I hope you drink it with me. All right? Get, get your water. Uh, this is going to... I am going to be drinking a total of 23 ounces. Well, actually, it said 23.7. But I think I wasted 0.7 on the table. So we're going to drink 23 ounces. Let's see. Before I say something, let me go and drink a little bit more. Maybe I'm missing something. I'm, I might be missing something, family. You know, I'm, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. I mean, I don't, I don't heard people praise this water. I don't heard people say this water right here, this water right here, this shit right here, this should save my life. Let me just
All right, so far, I am not impressed. I'm not impressed. I'm sorry for those Essentia fans. I'm not I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. Hold on. Because I'm, I'm, we're going to read the story on this water. Right? About health and pornos libation. Let's see. I will tell you this. I don't like my water to that really have a taste. And I taste something up underneath the water. Like Fiji, I didn't taste nothing. But Fiji, it wasn't. You know what I'm saying? I like the still water. I'm just that's just me. You know what I'm saying? All the, the fancy stuff. I don't like any subtle taste. I didn't taste the subtle taste with Fiji, but I I taste a little something underneath this. Now, this water claims that it's 9.5 pH or higher. Hydrate, restore, and balance. So not only when you are drinking this water, supposedly, you are drinking analytity. Alkalinity, my fault. So it's like you come up alkaline as you drink this water. All right, well, let's see. All right, so this water hydrates, restores, and balances. It's ionized. It's alkaline. It's ionized alkaline water. Electrolytes for taste maybe that's what I'm filling up underneath alright so let's look at the story real quick family then we get into the because we you know we got to start looking at some of the stuff that's out here right alright Essentia how we perfect hydration here's the story ionize removal of bitter tasting acidic ions creates a higher pH water Purify, microfiltration, reverse osmosis, and ultraviolet exposure make it 99.9% .9 pure. Electrolytes. Trace amounts of electrolytes for taste. Too pure to be tested by pH strips. Learn more at EssentiaWater.com. All right, now let me tell you what bothered me once I bought this water, right? I looked down at the bottom and it has a section that says ingredients. Hopefully that struck somebody else out there. Because water don't have no goddamn ingredients. It's just supposed to be water. Let's, ingredients, purify water, sodium bicarbonate. You know that as baking soda. Uh, dipotassium phosphate, magnesium sulfate, and calcium chloride, and electrolytes for taste. Now, I bought two bottles of this. I'm going to finish that bottle, but I'll probably never buy this again because I'm concerned when you start having ingredients for water. Water's you don't have ingredients. Well, no ingredients in Fiji. At least I can say that shit. But I got to go double check. All right. Time for the toast, family. Then I'm going to let you out of here, Facebook. So me and my YouTubers, we can go and get our thing on. Get it popping. All right. But remember, the show's title is The Dial of the Ignorance. Oh, I'm going to tear that shit up. All right. It's maturing and ooh, it's nice and dark. I mean, if those of you that's been following me drinking this and the other one, you can see it change right before your eyes. This shit is alive. I keep on telling y'all. And I'm not hiding ingredients on this. Like, you know, got to add ingredients to this, right? All right. So first, um, Toast and I, uh, our creator. Or whatever name you choose to call it, creator. So we don't have no arguments in in our family. We salute all 
of the names of that one great force that made it possible for all of us to be here. We toast it and we say, Ashe. All right. Um, we're going to toast our personal ancestors. And I got a list because I tell y'all that if I miss your ancestors, I will um, call them out. So I got my little book. So those people who have ancestors and I don't catch it, you can either put it on the timeline and I'm going to write them down or on YouTube, you put them down in the comment section and I'll get them. So um, we will toast Miss Aisha's ancestors and I have to apologize because one of the ancestors she put on here, I don't know why, but I do know why, but I wasn't toasting her. I want to toast Mama Malika. Um, and Frank Smith. Miss Aisha put them on the timeline yesterday. I missed them. So I'm going to toast anybody's ancestors out there. Make sure you toast your personal ancestors, family. Right? We toasting our personal ancestors. Those grandmothers and grandfathers. Those individuals that gave us love. Those individuals that helped us learn how to walk. When we was trying to learn how to walk, you remember the ones that used to come and lift you up? And give you encouragement and tell that you could do it again, right? We want to toast those ancestors that made us feel good on bad days. We want to toast those ancestors that 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 um when we got bad grades, they checked us, but then afterwards they kind of reminded us that we always had another chance and that they loved us anyway. We want to toast those ancestors that 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 whooped our ass when we did that wrong thing. You know what I'm talking about, right? We want to toast those ancestors that took the time with us when they didn't have to take the time with us. We want to toast those ancestors that used to sneak us treats, right? We want to toast those ancestors that used to make us go to church, right? We want to toast those ancestors that blessed us and prayed for us. And we know that if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have made it through, right? We want to toast those ancestors that always had words of encouragement. And we want to toast those ancestors that always reminded us of the dangers in what we was doing. We want to toast those ancestors, right? We want to toast them. We call on them. We call on those ancestors because they make us feel good. We call on our ancestors and we ask them to go out and open the way for us. We call those ancestors and we tell them to help us make it through the challenges. We don't ask them to remove the challenges. No, no, no. We ask them to encourage and push us through challenges because we know that it's only through challenges that we grow. We toast those ancestors. We say, I say, from there, we move to the present moment. We toast this moment. Today is near. We toast this moment because this is where all our power lies. Mm. So we toast it and we say, I say, last but not least, we toast our children, our children's children on to infinity. We toast them in advance so that they will toast us. We toast them in advance so that they will get here and they will toast us. We toast them and we say, I say, my fault, last but not least, we toast all of those special libations out there, those special toasts that people need to have, those in, those that may who need may need encouragement, those who are going through changes in life, those who are going to try a relationship, those who are trying to do something new, right? We toast you, those who, who may be facing something um, at work. We toast you, right? Those, um, we, we toast those. We ask those ancestors to move out and to touch us. And we say, I say, I say, I say, I say. I wish y'all peace, power, joy, and 100 years. Damn. Man. Listen. You oh, I gotta figure out how to get y'all some older ambrosia. This is grown folks sipping, right? The the young one is for young people. Right? Sweet. It, it, it got a little sweet tinge. This one right here, when they get old. I'm just telling y'all. And the probiotics is off the hook, right? So I want to thank those people that join me on Facebook. I want to send shots out to you. I want to say, if you have ancestors that you want me to toast, 
Don't hesitate to put them on the timeline because I always go back and I check the timeline and I will get them in the morning. I want to thank Miss Aisha Essex for allowing me to toast our ancestors. Um, um, I toast mine all the time. So, you know what I'm saying? They know what's up. So they know they got fed right now. We need to make sure that we take care of our ancestors, y'all, because hell for African is being forgotten. So we never want to forget those who remembered us in, 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 in those times in our life when we really needed to be remembered. All right. So, um, I'm saying peace to Facebook, peace, power, joy, 100 years. We out. I'm over here to uh, YouTube. All right, family. Y'all heard, man. I'm excited because I'm going to need. Let me, let me go and get Facebook up off of here. All right, family. It's about to go down right now. I'm going in. I'm going to try to keep this under 30 minutes, right? The title of today's show is The Dial of ignorance for those who don't know the dial means the way the way of ignorance i was thinking what can i bring to my family on this day of Nia that i haven't brought you know so i get kind of i get kind of bothered by that right and i'll be like well what can i bring what can i bring and um um i was thinking so as i'm laying down sleep well, actually, before I went to sleep, I looked up a term. I looked up a term. I said, okay, Google. I don't want to say it too loud because it'll mess up my thing. I typed in the term. Because, you know, I got dictionary.com. I don't know. Some of y'all, y'all need to get that, you know, because you need to go on and, and advance your thing. So let me look it up real quick. So I looked up the definition for economics, and it said the branch of knowledge with the branch of knowledge concerned with the production, consumption, and transfer of wealth. Didn't say shit about money, like I've been telling y'all. Didn't say nothing about money. It said the branch of knowledge concerned with the production, consumption, and transfer of wealth. I said, damn. I said, cool, all right. So, I get that. But then I asked the question, well, what is wealth? So let's look it up. What is wealth? An abundance of valuable possessions or money. An abundance of valuable possessions or money. So, then, after I started asking those questions, I came in the house, I said, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something with this. You know, came in the house and I fell asleep. So, I'm sleeping. We about to take our, take our supplements. I'm sleeping. And I'm like, damn, okay, I, I forgot to look that up. So, that gave me an idea for my Kaumba show. Because I'm... See, listen, this is how crazy or how it is. I want to show y'all something. I told y'all this is my barometer for my brewing, right? Y'all was with me the last couple of days. Would you look at this shit? This is what's going on in Ohio, right? Yesterday, this shit was liquid. Now, I'm so glad I didn't start brewing yet. Good grief. I, I'm waiting. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm waiting for some consistent, consistent weather. So I don't. Because this next batch is going to be off the hook, y'all. Because I got I got a few orders. I got the feel. And I still got to send some out. I'm just waiting for a few things. Alright. So I forgot. I'm going to continue. You know, coconut oil. Jump start that fat burning. And early in the morning. Right? Getting our morning beta, beta um, what, beta carotene? Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Ah. Mm. Let's 
what's that? What's that? What's that, Brother Hotel? Y'all know what that is. That's that black seed oil, right? We're still experimenting with it, right? I won't suggest nothing for y'all. Then I'm not doing myself. So we're still experimenting with this. Mm. In more ways than one. Because some of y'all that know about this black seed oil, y'all know what they say it does, right? Experimenting. Mm -hmm. Alright, last thing I want to do today is, I know y'all going to look at me like, that's that, it's not that apple cider vinegar, no, 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 no. This is a bottle I told y'all about, where I took the mother of the uh, apple cider vinegar, and I put some older ambrosia in here, so we want to see how this brew is doing, right? See if we're getting some acid. See if I might be on to something with some ambrosia vinegar. Because, you know, I like making salads and stuff. I use it anyway. I know I already got it, but, you know. Because I tell you, that, that vinegar the truth, right? Now, it's vinegar scent. Oh, yeah, I got some vinegar. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Coming to us, yeah, yeah. Pretty soon, y'all gonna be able to order that ambrosia vinegar too. All right. So, I said, damn, I didn't know what wealth was. I didn't know what economics were. But these are these are common words that are being thrown around in the community. These are common words: economics, right? Um, um, wealth, and I just assumed. That I knew them, right? But I really didn't know what they meant. And I start wondering, how many other words or other concepts don't I really know, but I act like I know? And when did I learn to start acting like I know? And I thought back to my school years where it was... I was one of the ones that used to kind of, I would get in trouble because I would ask questions, right? And, I, and at church, I would kind of get in trouble because I asked questions. And I kept getting in trouble for asking questions. And I noticed that some of my peers stopped asking questions because when they got in trouble, they, you know, it wasn't worth it. But I wanted to know, and I always wanted to know, and I always started asking questions, but... I'm calling this the Tao of Wisdom because many of us, right, have been forced into a point in our lives now being mature that we have been trained to stop asking questions, right? We're trapped in a reality, right? And we're told not to ask questions. When we go to school, we are socialized and put into a box, and the only thing that holds, the glue that holds that box together is ignorance. Now, what is ignorance? And I need y'all to understand this because this is what this got to do with pur purpose. Ignorance is not you just not knowing, family. Right? I, I'm going to put the word ignorance up. I want y'all to see it. When you in ignorance, you got the word ignore in there. Ignorance it's not about not knowing. Ignorance is about uh, is not it's not about just not knowing. It's about ignoring. To ignore alternate conclusions, alternate um, realities, to ignore other things. Right? And just stick with what you know. Stick with what's old. Stick with what you've been taught. To ignore opportunities. Right? And many of us can't get in line with Neil. We can't get in line with our purpose. Why? Because we're ignoring the call. Why? Why are we ignoring the call? Because many of us have settled with the training we have received. And we're satisfied, right? And we are playing like we know. 
but we're ignoring. It's like we're, we're moving through life with blinders on, fam. You're moving through life with blinders on. You need to get back to that point when you was a child and you was asking questions. Right? Start, stop assuming that you know and start asking questions. Start going back to that child part of yourself and start asking the question. Think about this. Even though I like quoting scripture all that much. You know what I'm saying? I think it was said somewhere that um, Jesus told people that if they wanted to get in heaven, they had to be like a child. Why? Because children are inquisitive. They don't just, I mean, you, my daughter, she unfiltered. She'll get, I got to be careful when I put her on camera because she will say whatever. Gina is a little bit more refined right now. I got, you know what I'm saying? I, I could kind of, you know, Gina going on. But Sasha, she's still in the age of where she's asking questions and she's making statements and she's, Pronouncing truths that she see. And that is be out of us in the system. And in order for us to be Giame, fear none, but God, we got to start and we got to become inquisitive again. Right? Because many of us are blocked off from our purpose because that reality has been blocked for us. And we've been told, do not go beyond this wall. And what, what's the key to move this wall? Asking a question, why? <sighs> Wall collapse. Why? Right? Why are you stuck? Why are you unhappy? Why? Why aren't your economics flowing? Why? Why you? Why are you only involved in the first two parts of economics? Production of somebody else's wealth, by the way. Consumption of other people's stuff, which means that you're paying them. They're not consuming your stuff. But you're not involved at all in the third part, which is the transfer of wealth. Why? Did you even know that economics was concerned with the transfer of wealth? All the show that I'm trying to put together tomorrow is going to blow your mind, family. Right? Because I'm about to ask a question that I'm thinking might get me killed. Right? Because this shit is this, it's so simple. It's so simple. I want to go into it now, but I'm going to hold off. I'm going to hold off because I'm going to do the whole thing a little bit different. Because I'm going to have to hurry up because I got to go somewhere with my mom tomorrow. Right? But, family. I'm about to blow this shit up. And I need y'all to start liking and sharing, right? Because we got to, because the idea I'm coming with, I already came with the idea, but I found a site right now that I could put up. I'm going to share the screen so we could look at this and I'm going to ask some questions, family. Make some questions of you, right? You know what I'm saying? Man, because if I could do it here and you could do it in the city you are in, we will have no more issues. Well, we're going to have issues always, but we're going to be a little bit more prepared to battle with. You know what I'm saying? But we got to start asking the questions. And we got to start asking. See, because now, this is one of the issues that we have, right? We do begin, become inquisitive, some of us, right? But we become inquisitive of other motherfuckers, right? We, we start asking other people questions, right? right? But the first place you need to become inquisitive about is you. Right, cause like, like you know, um, you know, and then some of us we become so inquisitive that it just turns everybody up. Nobody want to deal with us, right? Because now we want to get down to the bottom of everything, right? And nobody likes a total super investigator family, right? So sometimes you have to ask yourself the questions. Like you ever, you ever heard the, you ever heard the uh, statement? There's no such thing as a dumb question. I disagree. I'm just me, right? You know what I'm saying? I, I have run into many a dumb question. Um, that it was better that if the person would just ask yourself that shit before you raise your hand and ask that in front of people. There is a such thing as a dumb question. I'm sorry. You, that's, but that's my opinion. 
right? Some shit you just need to think about, you know what I'm saying, and, and work it out in your head, you know what I'm saying, because you're wasting everybody's time, right? You know, and some of y'all want to be, I mean, some of us, we get so specific about shit, you know what I'm saying, and then you, because I used to do this, and sometimes I still do. You ever run into the individual that want to ask questions, and uh, the, the 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 way the questions are coming, you can see that the person is trying to guide the individual to answer the question in the way that they want. You know what I'm saying? It's sort of like you 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 you're leading the witness, right? You know what I'm saying? Because your line of questioning is trying to get the motherfucker to, around to answer the question in the way that you want the question answered. Is that really being inquisitive? Or is that bringing somebody back into the mind state that you are already in or getting somebody to confirm your truth? Many of us, that's the only way we ask questions. When we confirm our illusions, right? But remember, the journey is about battle and illusions. So, yo, fam, I am out. This is under 30. I did it again. I did it again in 30 minutes. Peace, I'm out. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there, the fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you, right there. And for those that want more information about Jamie Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there.